to Sound Camp is to create a challenging program that takes youth education to the next level by taking the best of environment, STEM, and leadership techniques, putting them together, and creating an enormously powerful program. This is Ground to Sound Camp. Hopney, what is your favorite part of camp? My favorite part of camp is the macro invertebrate challenge because you get to find all these really cool creatures and then their names and if they are pollutant re resistant or not. At Ground and Sound we use a lot of state-of-the-art stuff. We have the Vernier LabQuest, tons of probes you can test pH, dissolved oxygen, temperature, soil, uh, light, pretty much anything you could think of. Um, and then we also couple that with the iPad. And so they're able to stream their data from the LabQuest onto the iPad and then analyze that data and throw it into iMovie. It's pretty, pretty exciting stuff. The kids use iMovie on the iPads in order to communicate what they've been learning to the public. So um, why did you send your kid here to camp? Uh, because she loves science and being outdoors and we thought this would be a great opportunity as well as a chance for her to be with one of her best friends who's in a different school district so they can spend the time together. Um, this is the third year my daughter has been to camp and the first year for my son and we love this camp, it's excellent. Um, they are so inspired by all the things that they learn with nature and the environment and scientific testing of things and they just come home so excited every day so that's why I send them to camp. They came last year and had a great time. They're veterans. They're veterans. And they wanted to make more iMovies. And they wanted to point out invasive species every time we drove down the road. <laughs> and what I like about this camp the most is that we always have these chances to go on adventures with kids and find data and examine it afterwards. So I think that's really cool to investigate. water quality testing, soil testing and analysis, forest ecology, ecological surveyor, all of those sites are things that adults do in the field. So we think that makes a really strong bridge if kids are doing the work of um, adult research because they, it empowers them, it makes them feel really, really um, important. I am so happy that kids get to work out in the field because without that, they don't make a connection between numbers and information that they get with the real world. When they're out and they see a big cedar tree and they're talking about soil nutrients, they see why it's so important that these trees get nutrients because the trees are so big and they can connect it to why they need to take nutrients and nutrients in so that they grow. So going out in the field brings it all together. Another goal that we had for the Ground to Sound Camp is to try and test out as a prototype different leadership techniques, STEM techniques and environment techniques that we can take into the public school program and take those programs to the next level too. I have my tap, my water source, right? This is a foster tap. If I turn it on, I'm going to have water moving. The kinetic energy of the water is going to be transferred to this tap. Too. But we get tons of water. It's not as big of an issue. But billions of people around the world uh, do not have this luxury to do this. Okay, well, first of all, let me explain what 3D leadership is. It's where we have older kids teaching younger kids and guiding even younger kids. What we've noticed is that um, young people would rather listen to an older, young person. There's something about a camp setting that automatically 
incorporates a more variety of teaching and learning styles. Um, we have an opening circle in the morning where we share some information, but we also sing songs and kids have an opportunity to create new verses for the songs. And it just kind of creates a whole family atmosphere. The kids also get a tour at the Brightwater Treatment Plant and learn about how important it is to clean our wastewater. The treatment plant cleans the water so that it is 99.9% .9 clean. Then it is put back into the Puget Sound. There is less pollution in the water because of this. Yeah!